Hey guys, this is Chandra, and I am going to show you how I make the album. The last video was cutting the pages. This video is going to be scoring everything, okay? So I'm going to start with the base pages. Um, you're going to need, <clears throat> excuse me, six pieces that measure eight by eight. Those you are not going to score at all, okay? And then you're going to need six pieces that measure nine by eight. So for all six pieces, you're going to score at half an inch and at eight and a half with the nine inch side at the top of your scoreboard. So I'm making sure that it's flush against the top and flush against the side so that I get not crooked score lines, which I notoriously do. So I'm scoring at a half and eight and a half. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing to all six <coughs> sides. There we go. Half an inch, eight and a half. So this is what creates the base page. This is all the scraps I had left over from cutting. I can't make any tags out of these because they're all too small. <clears throat> so I'm going to throw all those away. The pieces that I had left over from here are all the bigger pieces that I had. I'm going to save these to see if I can make tags out of them. All right. So flip my pile over. First page is the 8 by 7 page. We're going to score it on the 7 inch side at half an inch. So the seven inch side is at the top. We're going to score at half an inch. Then <clears throat> you have the 10 and a half by eight inch side. You're going to score with a 10 and a half inch side at the top. And you're going to score at four and a half and at 10. The next measurement is the two pockets. These are the nine by four and the nine by four and a half. We're going to stick it so the nine inch side is at the top. We're going to score at half an inch and then eight and a half. Then I'm going to rotate it so that the four and a half inch side is at the top. I'm going to score at half an inch. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this one, even though it's four inches. So the nine inch side is at the top. Score at half, eight and a half. I'm going to rotate it so that the four inch side is at the top and I'm going to score at half an inch. When I put my post-it note on here, I either, you know, I, the sticky part's on the top, so I label it so I don't get, you know, jacked up when everything's all scored and everything. And then I fold it over like this, and then that way it saves it as a pile. I was putting paper clips on there, but that was just driving me nuts. <clears throat> okay, so the two flaps are five by five, and you're going to stick it in so the five inch side is at the top, and you're going to score it half an inch. I'm going to do the exact same to the other one. Now, the next piece is the five by eight sheet. We're gonna, or sorry. Yeah, the five inch sheet, we're gonna stick it in so that the five inch side is at the top and we're gonna score half an inch. Now the 10 and a half by seven side, we're gonna stick it in on the seven inch side and we're gonna score at half an inch and then at six and a half inches. And we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna score it at half an inch and then five and a half inches. Oops. See, I let my paper move. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it there where there's two score lines. I'm just gonna fold on the correct one so that when I go to use it, I know which one to use. The next one is a six and a half by nine. We're going to stick it in so the six and a half, why can't I say six and a half inch? Six and a half inches at the top. And we're going to score it half an inch. Rotate it to the nine inch side. Again, I'm making sure it's butted against the top and the side. I'm scoring it at half an inch and again at eight and a half inches. Eleven by six. 
I'm putting it in so the 11 is at the top and I'm scoring at half an inch and then at five and a quarter. And the four and a half by six, I'm putting it in so the four and a half inch side is at the top and I'm scoring at half an inch. Next one is the seven and a half by seven. I'm gonna put it in the seven and a half on the top and I'm gonna score it half an inch. These one and a half by eight pieces, I'm gonna stick it in so that the eight inch side is at the top. I'm gonna score it at half an inch and at seven and a half. And the second one, I'm going to stick it in so that the eight inch side is at the top. I'm going to score it at a half and seven and a half, and then I'm going to rotate it <clears throat> so that the one and a half inch side is at the top, and I'm going to score it at half an inch. One of these is a belly band, and then one of them is going to be a pocket. <clears throat> now I need an eight by six piece. Where is my eight by six piece? There we go eight by six piece. I'm going to score the six inch side a half an inch. Now I'm going to need <clears throat> a eight by five and a half. I'm going to stick it in so that the five and a half is at the top. I'm going to score at half an inch. A five by six and a half inch sheet. I'm going to stick it in so that the six and a half inches at the top. I don't know if you can tell this or not, but I'm sticking it in there and there's like a little space here. So this cut here is totally crooked. <clears throat> I'm just going to check my measurements here. I need six and a half inches and then I need five. See, it's not even reaching the five. I'm going to grab another piece of paper and I'm going to cut a new piece of paper here. So I need it to be six and a half by five. Okay. So I'm sticking my six and a half inch at the top and I'm scoring at half an inch. And at six, I'm rotating it to my five inch side and we're scoring it half an inch. Apparently the kitty wanted in. <clears throat> so now I'm on to page seven and I'm using one of the eight and a half by eight sheets. And I am scoring I'm on that eight and a half inch side. I'm going to score it at half an inch and then at four and a half. And I'm doing that to both so the eight and a half inch side is at the top I'm going to score it at half an inch and then at four and a half and these two pieces of paper you can really tell are from different packs I don't know let me see um, see that they're the same brand just different packs of paper now I'm going to use the four by three and a half inch I'm going to use the three and a half inch side at the top, I'm going to score at half an inch. <clears throat> I think I need two of those. I do. I need two of these four by three and a half sheets. And in the previous video, I only told you one. So as I'm looking at it, I'm going to cut another one. Four by three and a half because these are going to be like the little pocket type things uh, to cover up the little policy type envelope things that we created so you're going to need two of those four by three and a half all right let me change my directions here so if i type it up it'll be correct all right so now we're on to page six Oh no, that was page seven. So now we're on to page eight. 
So you have the three by eight inch side. So you're going to stick it into the three inches at the top and your score at half an inch. So you're going to need the six by seven inch side or piece and you're going to stick it so that the seven inch side is at the top and you're going to score at half an inch. And then the next is the seven by nine piece. And we're going to start with the nine inch side at the top and we're going to score at half an inch and then at eight and a half. Rotate it so that the seven is at the top and score at half an inch. The next one is the eight and a half by eight. You're going to use the eight and a half inch side at the top. You're going to score at half an inch and then add four and a half. Page 10 is the nine and a half by nine side sheet. We're going to stick the nine and a half inch at the top. We're going to score at half an inch and then score at five. And then the nine inch side, we're going to score at half an inch. We're going to do some cutting on this one to make this page work because you don't have to have a 12 by 12 sheet, but if you use this, If you, and you cut off this part here, it, it'll create the pocket that you need without using multiple sheets of paper. So the five by eight, we're sticking to the five inch side is at the top and we're gonna score it half an inch. Now the eight, eight by 11 inch sheet, we're gonna put it so that the seven inch side is at the top. And we're gonna score it half an inch and then at seven. And then the eight and a half by five, we're gonna stick it in the eight and a half inch side at the top. We're gonna score at half an inch. And then the five inch side, we're gonna score at half an inch. And then at four and a half. Page 12 is the six by eight. You're gonna put it in the six inch side is at the top and you're gonna score at half an inch. And then the four by nine, you're gonna stick it so the four inch side is at the top, score it half an inch, rotate it, and then so the nine inch is at the top, we're gonna to score it at half an inch, and then at eight and a half. And that's all the scoring there is for this, so watch out for the next video where we put it together. Bye guys.